Let me talk Gen Z out so we can do this review. You better pick up this phone. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, sweetheart? Well, I was just calling to compare, you know, a few notes for our review. How you doing? Did you like the show? Man, the show was crazy. I didn't get a chance to watch it last night, though. I had to work late, but I had my um Nana <coughs> DVR from me. Oh, that's so cute, your Nana. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. I was thinking we could start it off with Kanye. SP, what he did, man, like, I'm not a big fan of Taylor Swift and whatnot, but come on now, that was the girl's moment. Like, let her have her moment. Huh? This dude coming on stage talking about Beyonce the best. Come on now, that was ridiculous. Lady Gaga did her thing, you know, with her little performance. It was blood and everything. It was kind of crazy. I think she, like, hung herself at the end, oh. but uh, I just don't get the whole, I guess it's performance art. I don't what? know. I don't really get it. This was cool. Nice little tribute to Michael Jackson. They was kind of um, late on that, too, but the awards was, it was, it was cool. What? Yeah, that was 2009, but we, all this happened last year. Are you serious? Please tell me. I'm ready to record and edit, and you telling me? Please tell me you're joking. I really need to laugh. Ah, 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 ah. Um, uh, let me call you back. Oh, you got to call me back. Okay. Mm hmm You done recorded the wrong show. I tell you, I can't. What? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish eating these Cheerios. Hopefully he called me back. Mm -hmm. Nana! You did the wrong show! What's going on, people? My name is Denzel from Denzel TV. Shout out to all of my subscribers at Denzel TV. And um, shout out to all of Miss P subscribers. If this is your first time seeing me, you're probably like, Miss P, girl, who the hell is that? Well, my name is Denzel, and if this is your first time seeing me, hopefully it's not your last time seeing me. Hopefully you'll subscribe, and hopefully my subscribers will do the same for Miss P. But we're going to come together for this uh, BMA review. Hey, what's good, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. Shout out to my boy, Denzel. He is going to help me with this as well. Because I need, uh, for this lackluster VMAs, I need some assistance going through this whole thing, okay? I've been trying to work with her for a long time, so we finally get to get it done right now. So let's get into it. So, first off, I'm going to start with the pre-show. It was too much Jersey Shore to begin with at the pre-show. I'm done, Ronnie. I'm done. The situation, poorly, it was too much for me. All about Nicki Minaj pre-show. I was on the Nicki Minaj bandwagon. She actually got me on the bandwagon with the Monsterverse. And then this pre-show performance comes and the choreography didn't work. The singing and the lip syncing didn't work. The extra, 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 extra large butt packs did work, however. And then all of a sudden, yeah, laugh, yeah, laugh, yeah, yeah. I was like, uh-oh, alert, alert. And I was ready. She went into something with Will I Am. And I actually like the song, and I'm really ready for her album because I love Nicki Minaj. But her performance, I don't know what's going on with her live performances on award shows, but they are kind of lackluster. She had on the little onesie, and I must say, Chick's body is ridiculous, okay? Will I Am came out with black face and sparkly hair. Everything else did not work with this performance. Uh, she has been touring, so I don't get the little stage fright thing, but maybe just because this was national and this was her first time being out there like that. She's great on someone else's songs. I just don't believe she can do it on her own yet, but maybe she'll prove me wrong with her album. Right now, I just don't believe it. Here it is, the show. That was an hour pre-show that wasted my time. Eminem is supposed to open. I was like, yes, I'm ready. Eminem's my boy. You, you don't know, now you know. Eminem's my boy, so this is gonna be a little biased. Listen to what Miss P says. Maybe she's a little unbiased. The big old pan on his face. Yim sin. You feel me? Let's go. I was like, ooh, ooh. All right, HD. Then all of a sudden, he start rapping like in a lone club. And then the back of it opens up. And here he comes into the audience. I was like, okay. He did I'm Not Afraid. I like the song, but not for an opener, okay? He had the drums going, everybody. That was all he was doing. I said, okay, you're gonna have to do something. He killed it to me. He always kills it. So the performers went downhill when Rihanna came out. Then all of a sudden, here go Rihanna. Hey man, that's all right because I like the way it hurts. I was like, yes. 
And then she said, I love the way you love. I said, whoa, Riri. And then she had on a fairy dress with boots. She messed me up with the red hair. I was like, honey bun. And don't get me wrong. I, I like Rihanna, but this performance, you know, her vocals, just gonna stand there and watch me burn she was like reaching she was struggling she was spilling all over eminem that was too much for me but it was a nice performance but i would have enjoyed it like in the middle of the show probably but that was not an opener i'm sorry i just did not enjoy the opening selection the host of the show chelsea handler which i'm i'm happy that they finally got uh, um, a funny host like the award shows period these last few years the hosts have not been funny to me but she didn't go hard enough on this award show for me i thought she was going to be way funnier i feel like they maybe held her back a little bit but the thing is though that a lot of people are um a little critical about is her whole uh, black joke. She did a few black jokes. People were a little touchy about that. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on, son. Consistency in a black comedian is white jokes. So, you know, you can't really get mad that she made a couple jokes that weren't really that offensive uh, in the first place. So, you know, I didn't really take too much offense. She feel a certain way about it. That's how I feel. If you feel a different way, leave it in the comment box below. Best female went to Lady Gaga. Oh, oh, la, la. She was so cute accepting her award. She was nervous and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, Gaga. Best rock went to Kings and Queens for 30 Seconds to Mars. I don't know who they were, but they kept it all short and sweet. I was like, yes, thank you very much. I do enjoy the house band all through the night. That was cute. I enjoyed it. Kim Kardashian introduced Justin Bieber, and I was like, okay, and she had this whole spiel how she had a um, restraining order and all this stuff. I was like, Kim, just introduce, baby. But she looked cute, but she looked different, too. I did not know that was Kim when she was talking. Justin Bieber gave a very, very good performance. I was not expecting it at all. He got on the drums, and he lost the drumstick. I was like, Justin, are you singing, dancing, or playing the drums? Which one do you want to do? Then he had the hat on, couldn't keep the hat on. He wanted the lip sync. <laughs> I'm not a fan of lip syncing at all. He gave good vocals at the beginning, but of course he went into lip syncing as he performed. But everything just kind of came together. It was like a, 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 a even cool performance of the whole way through. I enjoyed the breakdown and Somebody to Love. That is one of my favorite songs off of his album. I was feeling the swag. I was feeling the whole drum set. So Justin Bieber definitely uh, gave one of the top performances to me of the night. Then Usher came out. He was like, okay, Justin, you stay outside. I have the main stage. He came out and he looking like a Power Ranger. And I was like, okay, Usher needed a haircut. I'm about the DJ got us falling in love or something. It was pretty good. He was all synchronized with the dancers. And Usher could always dance. Usher was just the dancing tonight. <laughs> The pop usher, the DJ got us falling in love again. Oh my God, usher, you're not gonna get great vocals because he, he can't make it all the way through the song. The man, be, then he got a oh. Usher, he got a little winded, but that boy can still dance. He can still sing, and it was a good performance. And the stage was beautiful. Maybe the stage gave a great performance though, because the stage was bananas. Best male video went to Eminem for Not Afraid, and his tail wasn't even there. I believe if you are not in attendance you don't get it taylor swift okay her performance to me was boring but i don't agree with her adding that whole little kanye west thing at the beginning of the performance like showing the whole little thing and i guess her lyrics were about redemption i kind of fell asleep but i don't i don't like understand why you had to rehash that whole kanye west thing i feel like if you're going to bring that up again and they're both there maybe have them both on stage together maybe like have them present an award or show that they've gotten over it. Hey Tay, she drained me last night. Well, flat. She's always flat. And I know some of y'all, you hating on Taylor Swift. No. Heffa was flat. She's always giving along with me. She's always flat. Fonts to last year. Boo boo, that's last year. Give me something that will help you this year. Wouldn't worry about Kanye. I'm still getting my money. And she had the nerve to put the bubble on the front of what happened last year. We know what happened, boo. Thank you. For your participation. Boy B.O.B. also performed tonight. He performed for the first time with Haley from Paramore. I hope I'm saying that right. Paramore? Paramore? Yeah, maybe. But he performed for the first time with Haley, which is surprising me that this is the first time they even met when they rehearsing, re were rehearsing for this performance. But uh, B.O.B. did a good job. I'm starting to feel him more and more. I actually might go by his album. Um, but the standout was definitely Haley, who gave 
the best vocals of the night. It was like, wow, this girl sounds really, really good live. It was like, this girl sounds good on airplanes. And then when she had her little solo, she sounded even better. So I don't know who she is, but I'm going to look into her because she gave some great live vocals tonight. Sierra. Whew. And I love, I love Sierra stands. I love you guys. They played your girl tonight, though. They played Sierra tonight. You know it. I know it. Miss P knows it. They played Sierra tonight. They gave her like a little commercial spot. And then it wasn't even like her own commercial spot. It was like with Pharrell. She has an album coming out, though, right? Next month, maybe next year. She has an album coming out. So why not give her a spot on the show? They play Sierra tonight. I don't even really have no, much, no more to say. Go, go, a go. Hey, Drake came out. But wait, wait. Oh, you fancy, huh? He brought out Mary J. Who does that? Mary J overshined Swizzy and Drake. She was like, wait a sec. Drake did all right. He was, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, oh, you fancy, hair that now. I would have felt scared if I was Mary J and Swizzy. That, that hand just to be going, it just, all oh, oh, so erratic, though. Swizzy came out of nowhere. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy. Sit down, Swiss. Sit. it. Swiss Beats, who was just a playing that piano. Alicia Keys taught him that, among other things. But Mary, she did the doggone thing. She took me back to my life last night. This new artist went to Justin Bieber. He didn't know what stage to get up on. They didn't tell him that in production. Okay, Cher came out of nowhere with her nakedness. Baby, put that up. She gave out video of the year, and that went to Lady Gaga. Shout out to her in that meat dress. Gaga, why? And then she had on a dress that she couldn't get even get up in. <laughs> God bless pop music. God bless the VMAs. Sure. Gaga, congratulations, though. Closer, Kanye West, which he shouldn't have closed the show. Now, Kanye West, Kanye West's lyrics to this song were kind of like, let's give it up for the douchebags. Let's give it up for the murderers and the rapists. And let's give it up for the child molesters. And let's give it up for the assholes. And I'm like, Kanye, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Now, I like the beginning. There were two mics on stage. He was in a red suit and he had one of those sound machines up there. All of a sudden he started playing with the sound machine. He's like burr, 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 burr. I was kind of feeling that but then the lyrics kind of caught me off guard. And if he was going to close the show I think he should have did Power or, or Monster or something like that but I don't think he should have closed the show with this because it didn't work. I was waiting for something to happen but I got nothing. Nothing. The best performance, I have to say, would probably go to either Usher. Usher did really good. Or Drake. Well, Usher or Mary did really good. Usher had, like, the show-ending performance. I feel like that should have closed the show, and Kanye should have been somewhere in the middle. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for watching me and Miss P. I really appreciate you guys. If this is your first time seeing both of us, subscribe to both of our channels. Give this video the thumbs up, and let us know what you thought about the 2010 VMAs. My name is Denzel. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.